Okay. Hello, everyone. First, uh, before we get started, I would like to apologize for any like breathing noises on my audio. I've 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 got allergy issues, and I've tried to, f you know, get it sorted out so those don't show up on my audio, and I'll do my best to keep that to a minimum. But I apologize ahead of time if any of this shows up. So, this video is just going to be an introduction to this series, Fat People Say What? And, you know, give you just an overview of the series and kind of what I want to do with it and everything. So, this series was inspired by Michelle McDaniel of the channel um, My Thoughts Will Probably Offend You. She has a series called Responding to Fat Chicks where she responds to stuff put out there by the fat acceptance, you know, fat positive folks. So seeing her videos on the fat acceptance stuff made me want to go onto Instagram and go look up some of these people. And holy crap. It's like some of the stuff they put out there, it's like, are you fucking serious? And so, as somebody who is currently obese and is working to change that, you know, I feel like I need to speak out against this stuff because these people are promoting an unhealthy lifestyle. So, things that I've been doing is, one of the things that, I, that I've done is I've gone onto these people's posts and commented. Now, when I do this, I don't say anything mean. I don't comment on their appearance or anything like that. I don't call them names. For the most part, what I do is some rendition of obesity is unhealthy. And it's amazing how just stating that simple fact it's these people so riled up. It's, it's mind-boggling. The other thing I've been doing is any posts that I make on Instagram that are, you know, related to weight loss, fitness, that kind of stuff, I've been making sure to tag them with body positive, fat positive, and fat acceptance. And the reason for that is to, because I don't want these hashtags to be an echo chamber. I want people to see this other viewpoint. And, you know, if somebody finds one of my posts, like, for example, one of the things that I started, that I've started doing on Instagram is, is cataloging my weight loss and fitness journey. Like I made, I posted a picture, you know, showing the number on the scale. And then I, another, on another post, I, um, posted pictures of myself in just, um, a, um, a sports bra and boy shorts, you know, so people can see what my body looks like. And then over time, the idea is going to be to make, to post these pictures once a week and then over time, you'll be able to see the, the changes in my body. And I got the idea to do the pictures from, uh, from Michelle McDaniel as well, because she's a personal trainer and coach and all that sort of stuff. And one of the things she would do with her clients is she would, she would take pictures, have, you know, she would take pictures of the clients because sometimes the number on the scale either won't go anywhere or it might go up despite the fact that you've actually lost some fat, right? And so the pictures serve as a good marker so you can see like, hey, this is what you used to look like and this is what you look like now. So you don't worry so much about the number on the scale. So that that prompted me to do the uh, the photos and I, you know, and I was thinking, you know what, I'm just going to post this on Instagram. I'm going to like put myself out there. And I'm going to catalog this. And, you know, maybe somebody will see this and they'll see my, my journey and see that I'm 
what I'm doing and go, wow, maybe I can do it too. You know, the other thing too about posting this stuff is when I'm talking about how bullshit the fat acceptance movement is, I want to be able to, to like, to point to this stuff and be like, I was obese because once I get my weight down and everything, I don't want somebody to just brush me off as some skinny person who doesn't know what's what. I want to be able to say, look, I was obese. You can go back and check my old Instagram post where you can see how fat I was. And so, so the, what I'm going to be doing with this series is on each episode, I'm going to focus on, like, say, you know, an Instagram post or an article or, you know, like responses that I get to to my posts that are tagged with body positive, fat positive, and, um, and uh, what's the other one? Fat positive, body positive, and fat acceptance. Yeah. So I'm going to, because I've, I've, you know, I've gotten some really nasty comments just for saying obesity is unhealthy. Oh, and of course, and I've, and I, I, you know, and I've been blocked by people as well. No surprises there. So I'll be making posts about that stuff. And, you know, I would encourage other people to do what I'm doing, you know, when, when you're making posts on Instagram related to fitness and weight loss and all this stuff, tag that motherfucker with body positive, fat positive, and fat acceptance. You know, I, I want it to be, I, I want those hashtags to be just inundated with positive health and fitness messages. Now, be prepared for people to just give you a whole ration of crap. But, you know, I want these messages to be put out there because that message is not being put out there enough. You know, it's not like with smoking. I mean, with smoking, everybody knows that smoking is bad for you because of all the anti-smoking propaganda over the decades. You know, and like you've got the current anti-smoking campaign where you've got these former smokers, you know, giving their tips to people and they're showcasing all of the different ways in which smoking can harm you. And I think that's fucking wonderful. But we don't have this for obesity like we should. And and then you've got these fat acceptance people that like are promoting obesity. They're promoting this idea that it's perfectly fine to be obese and you need to love yourself just the way you are and blah, blah, blah. And it's all bullshit and it's dangerous bullshit. It's unhealthy. And there are impressionable people looking at these at these Instagram influencers and who are just being encouraged to, in, to continue with their unhealthy habits. And then these people are going to wind up with all sorts of health problems. And do these do these influencers even really fucking care? Do they even do they even understand that they are putting people's health and lives at risk? There's a reason why you don't see people who are morbidly obese into their 80s and 90s. Okay? Because morbidly obese people die early. So we definitely need to push back against this fat acceptance crap. I mean, this stuff has been around for quite some time, um, but it seems like it's only more recently that it's really started to pick up steam. And, 
it's really, really sad. And it's really sad, like, the just... Even though I kind of knew what to expect from dealing with these people and I knew how nasty these people could get, whenever, you know, you go against their narrative, even though I had some inklings of that from watching these videos from, you know, Michelle McDaniel, like... I was still I was still kind of shocked at the the amount of hate I've received and it's just just for saying obesity is unhealthy. So yeah, that's that's kind of it for this little ramble of mine. And if you if you like this video, please subscribe and all that good shit and you can find my social media stuff. Uh, down below in the info box, if you want to follow me on Instagram and, and see my oh so hateful posts where I say that obesity is unhealthy. And then you can see for yourself the kinds of reactions that I get from that. So thank you. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.